What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Quidditch champions again, and this time it's going to get heated. This is where I start to get mad, and for those that don't know, like I've been a supporter. I've been one of the only supporters, at least uh, social media-wise, uh, of this game, and what I have to say here is talking specifically about the bots versus human thing. Look, they show a lot of info today, and honestly, a lot of it's very good. That's also what makes this very frustrating. We got actually some of the more d deeper without actually, like, you know, kind of talking over it. We got gameplay. We got to see the seeker. We got to see going through hoops and kind of getting closer and closer to the snitch to catch it. We got to see chasers. We got to see uh, the keeper actually in action. We got to see quite a bit of stuff. They did breakdowns on the different modes and kind of like your career journey mode sounds awesome. You're rising through the ranks. It's going to be like a, a 16 country tournament at the end of the day. It sounds really cool. Like that does not seem low effort that does not seem like they you know decided on it in in a week or two that seems pretty darn cool their cooperative mode you know playing by yourself and being able to play as any of the six players uh you know at any given time you know being able to swap all great honestly a lot of great stuff today there's one thing and it is the biggest negative you could ever do to this game again i'm gonna start to get heated right about now actually before i do that though right let's confirm it so they did a tweet, right, where they talked about if you play multiplayer, you will pick pairs. You'll pick chaser, keeper. You'll you know you'll pick kind of two different things. You can only play as one at a time, obviously, right? When you swap to the other, the bot will take that role. So multiplayer, firstly, it's six v six, but multiplayer, it's three versus three. The other three on your team are always controlled by bots, and that's a minimum. If you don't have three players, say it's me and you, one other person playing, we pick our roles, it's four bots playing. Okay, now when that happened, I flipped out. I quote tweeted, I responded to it. I want clarification. They didn't answer me directly, but there was actually another clip that they showed afterwards that kind of showed the mode where you can kind of just make whatever you want. You can pick the location, you can pick the team and the origin. And, and again, cool mode, by the way, right? But they cycle over basically the main menu of the game. And if you look, when they cycle over multiplayer, at the bottom, in parentheses, it says 3v3. Three players online versus three players online. So six in all, but 3v3. If, they, if you look at when it's like the career mode, you can see it says like solo or co-op, right? So that is the indicator to me. I don't actually need them to respond. I don't need further clarification. I got my answer in that clip that it is confirmed you cannot have more than three players on any given team uh, in multiplayer. Now, let me just talk a little bit. Like, I can say I hate it all day long. Well, why? I feel like that ruins any kind of competition. I think this game works at its best or will work at its best when you have a full team. I What I've been saying from freaking day one is the competitive nature and being able to assemble a team and being able to pick your roles and having that kind of dream team is, is key. It's key for me. And if this game has any hope of lasting long term, that's another thing. That might be the biggest thing, right? You pay for this game at launch. I guess you can play it through PS Plus, right? But you can pay for it at launch. So it's not necessarily live service. They're not relying on microtransactions, which, again, I kind of like that, right? But this is, if you say, okay, well, if it's a live service game, well, how long do live service games last? How long do they want this game to last? Can this game be an actual esports type game? I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart right now, all that stuff goes out the window. It's not going to be considered an esport thing. I don't know how anybody in their right mind could look at it as that because how can the competition now, you see in the one clip, there is multiple difficulty options. I think there's like five or six difficulty options. Could the bots be extremely, extremely good? Sure. But, I mean, I have i don't know about you guys. I've played enough sports games to know how AI works. I've also played enough games in general to know how AI works. And I'll tell you again from the bottom of my heart, nothing can replace the human playing it. If I'm playing on a team of six players and it's me and five others, I can guarantee you that it's more fun. It's It feels more like a team and an activity and a sport. It feels more like a sport if it's me and five humans. If it's me two humans, and then bots, you are relying on bots for 50% of your team, 50% of your effort, 50% of your scoring. 
So you might have a bot as the seeker. Well, as seekers are important, you might have a bot as the keeper. Stop me if you've ever played like a FIFA or NHL game. Goalies can be messy. I've I played like 12 NHL games in a row. There's ways of messing with the goalies in hockey, the AI. There's cheap shots, like literally cheap shots you can do with the puck that gets in the net. That happens all the time. So doing that loses all sense of competitive play. And I don't need to talk about the game itself. I don't, you know, none of that. I, I don't think you need to even get into that stuff to like the nitty gritty to even call it here. Three players just doesn't make, and there's more I, there's more you can say that I'm not going to say. It just doesn't make sense to me why it's only three people. But I just can't get over the fact that 50% of your team, now maybe you can try to game it. Like maybe, you know, if you're the keeper and you kick it out to your chaser, which we actually see in that clip, right? You kick it out. Then they became that. Okay. And then, you know, I think that was more like just solo where they were trying to play as like every role because then they went to the seeker and all that stuff. All right. Like, you know, if you're playing as the keeper, then you jump to the chaser. You don't really need the keeper now, right? Because you have the ball. And so it's in your possession. So maybe you don't need the keeper, but you do need like every other, you need more chasers. You need your seat. You need all of that stuff. So it's like, you still need probably not just the two other humans. You probably need at least one more to make it like functioning where you're not relying on AI to help you win matches. But I don't know. I don't even think it gets that deep, right? Think about any sports game, any sports game, all of them have it where you jump into NHL online, you jump into to Madden and FIFA and all that stuff, and you can play as the as the specific positions, right? It's like, it's unbelievable that they would think that you don't need that and that you can still have some sort of competitive play. And, and I'm, by the way, when I say competitive play, like it's a multiplayer, multiplayer tab, right, that you're clicking on. I'm not even necessarily saying like you have, like I would like ranked matches. Honestly, at this point, that's completely pointless, completely pointless. But before today, I was hoping like, you know, you click multiplayer and it's casual and ranked, which again, stop me if you've heard that before in any multiplayer game, like on the face, not all of them have it, but a lot of them do, right? Casual, you're playing against anybody. Doesn't matter your level, doesn't matter your rank, doesn't matter your experience, doesn't really take that stuff into account. You're just playing, you're having fun. You can still have fun, by the way, in ranked, but you're going in for the challenge. You're going in with that level. You're facing people of similar, you're you're fighting to the to the last man, right? Like that's that's what you do in in ranked mode. Like, there's no way there's no way that even makes sense now because I think just multiplayer in general doesn't make sense I just I don't know I can't get by that relying on 50% of your team in a sports game it's not like I don't know like you know when you play uncharted but I mean a lot of these just don't translate well right it's like I can't even give you I, I am a man who likes to look at other examples right and tries to rationalize it there's really no other example off the top of my head at least right a lot of these things are not pre-planned there's really no examples I can think of where where that would work and, and that you don't like because there's just such a reliance on the whole team. You know, if you weren't going to do that and you can't make it three on three, like that's the issue, right? Like you literally need more players on the Quidditch, you know, pitch in order for it to work. You can't just have three on three, but I don't understand why they picked three. Why not four? Why not five? Why not six? Like, like I said, four would be bare minimum for me, and that would be unthinkable before today. Before today, you telling me that anybody would be an AI is unthinkable. And and by the way, again, just to reiterate the beginning, this is not if you don't have enough people, right? This is not I'm struggling to find a match, and so the bots are going to fill the position. You need that. You need that. But if people can fill the match or if you've assembled a team, which I can tell you right now, I have a Discord server with people ready to rock, that, you know, I mean, I don't need bots. I do not need bots in my match. I can fill all the roles. So why, you know what I mean? And and I have seen, I saw like one, like only one or two people that are actually defending this. But you could say, okay, well, this could be something, right, where they're trying to minimize the the wait time. And I will say, like, pl playing a lot, you know, I play a lot of, like, the asymmetrical games, asymmetrical horrors, so Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th and all that stuff. Wait times can be detrimental, right? If you're sitting there and you're trying to play as, like, the killer, right, and you're sitting there and you're waiting two, three, four, five minutes, like, that can be crushing. Honestly, it can get you to just quit. And I'm sure there's probably statistics to show, hey, you got to get them in under so many minutes or you're just going to lose them as a player. I, I guarantee it. 
So I do understand that. You don't want to keep people waiting. The easy, and I actually saw somebody that responded with this. I thought of this right away. Dual roles. You're already doing dual roles. The, right now, you will pick combinations, right? There's three combinations to pick. Why not have backups? So when you join a match, for me, and I've said this before, like I want to be keeper. That's my role. That's what I'm going to be doing, right? Okay, I go in. I say keeper is my preferred. I'm looking for matches. And this is if I have nobody. I don't have anybody lined up to play with me online. But I'm still wanting five other humans, right? I go in and I say, okay, my preferred role is the keeper. But if I don't get the keeper, if there's a match that's already got five people and one is a keeper, my backup will say chaser. I get to choose. So my number one preferred role is keeper. And then I have a backup. So they're looking for me, right? They're trying to find matches that needs a keeper, and then they'll place me in it. If there are none or they can't find it under a certain time limit, whatever the, the programming is, right, they'll default me to my second choice, and then I'll play that. Why can't you do that? That is to me, and, they, and games do that. Games do that all the time. Asymmetrical games do that all the time. There's some asymmetrical games where you can have a preferred which one you want. Like I prefer Killer, or I, I think maybe Predator Hunting Grounds did something like that, where it's like you can prefer one, but like you know if they literally can't find it, because again, in, in these kind of killer games, a lot of people might be trying to be the killer, right? So it's like you have to have the the victims or the survivors, so you got to try to balance that. Well, that's why you have preferred roles, right? If there is a spot, you'll get that spot, but if that spot's not there, you got to have a backup, and the game will put you in that backup. Why can't it be like that here? And then guess what? If all else fails, then you get bots. The thing that upsets me the most is that they're limiting it. It's not that there's bots in general. Bots in general are needed. If this game lasts, say, five, six, seven, eight, nine months, right? Every month, say, there's less and less players. You need bots to fill those roles to keep the, the servers alive and to keep things active, right? You need that. Again, asymmetrical games, some of them, not actually all of them, some of them have that, right? And, and by the way, they're not good. When you see a bot, you take advantage of that bot. Weird example, but even like Crash Team Rumble, which is a game nobody played, but there's the point. Nobody played that game except for me and a few others. Bots filled that game from day one. The teams would be like 20 to 40% filled with bots. Do you know what I would do to those bots? Those bots were terrible. Those bots contributed nothing. Those bots could easily be taken advantage of. Now, again, I'm not saying every game's bots are bad, but generally, I mentioned NHL. I have a decade-plus experience of rinsing goalies because you just know that there's certain things you can do. It is real. I, I, it's not fake. It's real. It's it, The only way it would work is if you could properly show me that the bots are equal in talent to a human at like their best potential, and you can't. There's no way. And also, again, that gamesmanship. There's nothing as special as pl as playing with a team, getting a group together, talking on party chat, on Discord, on talking and planning it out and then doing it. That is esports. That's a freaking game. That's a multiplayer competitive sport game, which is what this game is. It's a sport game, right? So, and again, I'm not saying you can't have bots if you don't have that. Look, I, I'm a loner. Somehow people have, you know, reached out, you know, they want me to play Quidditch and we've, we've made it work, right? This is a rare example. I am socially awkward. I have social anxiety, all this stuff. I don't leave the house. I don't talk to people. Okay. I am that. So you could be saying, well, Alex, I, I don't have five friends. Tr trust me. I don't either. Okay. But okay, well, bots can fill that. The issue is they're limiting it in the beginning. It's not, okay, we're going to do 6v6. And hey, if you don't have six people, you get bots. Because guess what? You'll get bots anyway. The thing is, there's no way out of that, right? If, if it's 6v6, you might get one or two bots, say, if you, can't ha if, you, if you can't find people. And if you're upset about that, well, shouldn't you be upset right now? Because right now, you are locked in. You're getting three bots minimum. You better make friends with them. Because you got three just to start out with. You might have more. You might have to make more friends with fake AI. You know, like that's how this game is going into it. Not even like five months down the line. Not, and also, what weird timing to do this. <laughs> you know, like the game comes out in one month. We know, or at least we thought we knew, roughly a number. And then all of a sudden they throw this at us. I, I don't, and I'm so mad. I am furious because... The game does look good, and I'm never going to change my tone on that. And I, I want if they hear me, right, if they, if WB, if if Unbroken, if PR agencies, whatever, if they hear me, 
I like the game. The game looks great. I've been one of the people telling people to trust in the game while they don't show anything. Now they do show stuff. It looks to me really good. I think generally people, by the way, that are responding do like what it looks like. But now you throw the ultimate curve. So if you're not playing it for multiplayer, I guess it's not a big deal. I guess everything I said for 15 minutes doesn't really matter because if you're playing it for the career mode, which I do think is cool, and I probably would do that. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter because you never really expected to play. You know what I mean? If you're doing career mode, you're rising up the ranks, you're eliminating things, right? You're trying to get to, like, the Quidditch World Cup. Okay, did I expect to do that with human beings? No, N never at one point did I did I actually think that, right? I knew it would just be, like, a solo thing. And bots would <laughs> – I knew that. I knew bots would surround me. And that's just something that, you know, it is what it is. And, and I'm sure the bots will provide some sort of challenge, hence the difficulties, all that jazz. But okay – but I thought when you go into multiplayer, especially if there was like a ranked mode or something, I thought you'd be able to assemble a team if you wanted to and dominate. Go out there and rock and roll, which is what I think we would do, by the way, my dream teams and I. And I. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It, for me, multiplayer was the main thing. Like, I'm going to try the career mode. I'll try like the, I'll try all of, like, I'm going to play the game, right? So I'm going to try different things. But for me, the main thing that I've been excited for for this entire time has been multiplayer. And that's what will keep the game around the longest, by the way. I mean, like, again, you'd be kidding yourself if you think of a sports game and you think that anything but multiplayer is what keeps it around long term. Of course, it's the multiplayer, right? Okay, so now you ruin, you ruin, I will use that word, you ruin the mode that I was most looking forward to with just really weird decision making. It doesn't make any sense to go to 3v3. So I think that's all I have to say right now. Uh, I got to calm down a little. I mean, look, am I going to cry myself to sleep tonight? No. Am I going to get the game? I might get the game through PS Plus. To be honest with you, I think this might eliminate my purchase. I was going to do it through PS Plus slash maybe buy it day one, but ultimately I was going to own the game once we leave September. That, that's, that was my plan as of yesterday, right? I was going to play it maybe through PS Plus just to do it, I guess. I don't care. And then, and then buy it to make sure that I have it going into October. At this point right now, I see myself playing it in September for free and then done. That That is honestly probably my plan. And that hurts. That freaking hurt. This is like a top 6, 7, 8 game out of 30. This is a top 10 game that I was looking forward to this year. This killed it. Killed it. This drops it. Pretty low, I would say. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.